Today is Tuesday and it's the second day now of our week of reaching out to God for blessing. Yesterday we looked at the importance of you to decide what it is exactly that you need from the Lord. Now, just before we go any further, I want to make it clear that you must you must be very you must be very clear on exactly what you desire from the Lord or this is not going to work. You must be very specific concerning what you want the Lord to do. If you have a need for health or healing, then you must specify what healing you're needing. If you're believing for finances, be specific on the amount and the kind of finances that you need. And and if you are des- desiring relationships, well, be very specific on the kind of person and the kind of relationship that you're desiring. You must be specific. Otherwise, how are you going to know when God answers? Now, the moment you try this, you're going to get immediate opposition from the enemy. He's going to challenge everything that you asked for. If you're believing for health, chances are you'll start to feel worse in your body than you have before. If you're looking for finances, suddenly finances may get worse. A new problem may come up. If you're looking for relationships, the relationships you have may begin to turn sour and there just seems to be no hope at all of you meeting anybody and developing new relationships. Satan will challenge and question and make you think that you're wasting your time. So before you can overcome, you need to first learn how to tap the power that is already inside of you. Now this power lies deep down in your spirit. It has to be charged up and ready to be released. Now the best way to do this is to start out by speaking in other tongues because when you speak in tongues the Bible says your spirit is praying. Your spirit is actually being exercised while you are speaking in tongues and you should do this for long periods of time to really develop the power and the strength in your spirit. And this power will begin to charge up inside of you and then it needs to be released outwards. And firstly, it must be released via your soul. So your soul has to be conditioned. Your soul where your mind, emotions and will lie. Your soul must be conditioned to allow this power to come out. And one of the best ways to do that is to start speaking positive words and make your soul open to releasing the power. These words must produce good pictures in your mind because those pictures in your mind are then going to affect your feelings and your desires. And only then is your soul ready to release the power that's coming up out of your spirit. And then finally, your body, of course, needs to release this into the world. And so you need to begin to act in your body like you have already received the things that you desire. Some people seem to think that, well, it's a lie for me to say that I'm well when I'm clearly not, when I'm feeling pain. No, you you don't lie and say, that I don't feel pain, you you confess the word of God which says, I have been healed and I believe I'm healed and I stand on that and I'm going to act as though I'm healed and I'm going to speak and I'm going to say, I'm healed, I'm going to thank the Lord that he has healed me, I'm going to thank the Lord that he has provided the finances that I need, I'm going to thank the Lord for the relationships and for the life partner that I desire, I'm going to act as though I already have received it. Okay, now the right kind of words to speak, well the best and most positive words you can get are the word of God itself. So what you need is a a few good scriptures that you can speak out loud, scriptures that promise God's blessing, scriptures that will build positive pictures in your mind. Okay, I'm going to give you a list of uh, typical scriptures for some of the main needs, which I'll put on the page below 
this video so that you can go and use those, or you can find your own. You may have your own favorite scripture promises, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these scriptures at a time, and you're going to speak it out loud over and over again, several times. Then after you've done that for a while, you're going to stop speaking in English, and you're going to start speaking in tongues. And you'll do that for a while, and then you'll go back again to speaking the words of the Scripture. Now, if you do this alternately and repeat it after a while, you will begin to actually feel the power charging up inside of you. You'll feel like there's a bomb building up inside of you, ready to explode. Okay, now... You need to do this often during the day, especially today while we're practicing this. Whenever you think about it, if you have a chance to be alone, just go and speak the scriptures. Try to memorize them so that you can speak it without thinking. And then speak in tongues and keep charging this up and then say, yes, I believe I've received. I'm going to act like I've received. I'm going to talk like I've received. Okay, now... Once you've learned to do all of this, of course, Satan is going to launch and have a big attack against you. He's going to throw at you all that he has. And so you need to know how to handle his attacks and you need to know how to close any doors that you may have opened to him. And we'll be looking at more of that tomorrow. But for now, I want you to learn how to charge up the power that's inside of you and to release it. I'm going to give you a quick example I've taken two typical scriptures, one on healing and one on provision. Okay, these are the GBM version. You may know them differently. Whatever you're comfortable with, use a scripture like this and do it something like this. Okay, I am wanting to believe the Lord for healing in my body. And so I look at 1 Peter 2 verse 24, which says, Who all by himself took our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins could be alive to righteousness, by whose wounds you were healed. That's a fairly big mouthful. You may want to use a shorter version, but get this into your spirit by speaking it over and over again and let it penetrate, let it change your soul. Who all by himself took our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins could be alive to righteousness, by whose wounds you were healed, by whose wounds I was healed. I thank the Lord that he took my sins in his body on the tree, that I no longer need to be dead to sins, but I can be alive to righteousness, and by his wounds I have been healed. And as you do this, and you feel the power charge up, and you begin to speak in tongues, Whatever tongue you're comfortable with, shalabondolomotu talabalai, aragandala sakarabeto. If you're able to speak in different tongues, you can alternate them. Just do that for a while, then go back and read the scripture again. Who by himself took my sins in his own body on the tree, that I, being dead to sins, can be alive to righteousness, by whose wounds... I was healed. Thank you, Jesus. Do that over and over again. And then you can deal with your financial needs. And you could take a scripture like Philippians 4, verse 19. But my God will supply all your needs, coming down from his abundance in the realm of glory through Jesus, the anointed one. My God shall provide your needs. You might like the old version my God shall provide your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I've just retranslated it to make it easier to understand. My God will supply all your needs coming down from his abundance in the realm of glory through Jesus the Anointed One. Oh my God provides all my needs coming down from his abundance in glory. And he's doing it through Jesus, the anointed one. I thank you for this, Lord. If you do this for a few minutes, you'll be surprised at how the power begins to charge up inside you. 
it begins to feel like a hurricane building up. There's a bomb getting ready to explode. Keep, the, keep this going during the day. You know, you can speak in tongues even while you're at work if you do it under your breath. You don't have to speak out loud. And you'll find that if you start it and get it going for a while, eventually you find yourself speaking in tongues in the background even while you're working. It's keeping your spirit in tune with the Holy Spirit and the powers charging up and getting ready to be released. Keep this up throughout today and you'll find by the time you get to the end of the day, a lot of those negative feelings and discouragements from the attack of the enemy are beginning to fade away and you're beginning to feel strong enough to stand before him now and face him and tell him to get. And tomorrow we're going to learn how to do that in the best ways possible. And as we continue throughout the rest of this week, we are going to build up more and more until you begin to see the manifestation of all those things that you desired from the Lord. Amen. Your spiritual power is low And a mountain stands in your way If all that mountain will go You must learn how to pray To blast it out of the way You must charge up your laser must build a hurricane You must make yourself an atom bomb Tap into your underground stream And unleash the power within The word you must confess And the spirit must out the two must join together before you start to shout and let the power out you must charge up your laser you must build your hurricane you must make yourself an atom bomb Tap into your underground stream And unleash the power within